Yo, 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 what's up? This is Jerome from Judge Innovation Girls in the Peach Capital of the State, baby. All right, boys and girls. Um, on this camera stand right here, this DJ, DJ16, um, this, this camera stand that I'm using, a subscriber sent this to me. Um, they also sent me, um, a subscriber sent me a, uh, the microphone. This is the other microphone. Um, the other one is charging. Um, the battery's charging on it, so I'm using this one here. <clears throat> this one, it works sometimes, sometimes it don't. I can see where it's working. So, I um, want to take a minute and say, if you guys are not, if nobody is not aware of what happened with Heli Hurricane Helen, I think that's how they say their name, her name from the Gulf of Florida all the way up to the mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee. I don't know where you've been living. So this day was, let's just put it in the words, they was destroyed by the power of water. Okay? So not going to get anything biblical. I'm not going to do any of that because that's the fastest way you can lose somebody. If you get into politics and religion, uh, people will shut down and they will run or run away. So that's not what this is about. What this is about is uh, people coming together, okay? Communities, extended communities, um, just, just what not. Um, I'm sitting here trying to figure out this camera pod stand it has gestures so this thing has pre-gestures in it where i if i throw up a different hand sign this thing will do different things which is crazy so right now it's on tracking mode so you see this so it's tracking right it's tracking me and if i throw up uh like a high five or a peace sign or another like you know like it'll cut off all right so I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to do this technology, and I got neighbors and community members that live three hours west of me that has nothing. They have no power, they have no food, they have no water, no internet. Basically, the storm come through and washed. I'm not picking my hands up because I don't want the camera to cut off because I don't know what gesture to pick up. Basically, the water came through last week and washed Asheville. Tennessee, uh, Chimley Rock, all them communities up there, it basically washed them into the 1800s. Basically what it did. So I'm going to go live, but right now I'm, I'm going with this right here to see what it does. They hurting boys and girls. They hurting. They don't have. They don't have water. They don't have food. They don't have cell phone service. They don't have any. They don't. A ham radio would be good about right now, wouldn't it? Um. So, if there is anything you can do, anything you can do to help, find somebody, find a community building, find a firehouse, find a town hall found a reputable place, a church, something that is sending supplies to the western state of North Carolina. I say that um, there is a, there's several lists that's going out there that what, what people need and you know what they can use like uh, canned foods, uh, baby wipes, um, water. Water is number one. Food. Baby wipes. I mean, I seen some baby formula on a list or whatever. I mean, basically, they completely washed away for. Like, I mean, they just there's nothing. If you see, like, if you see the picture of Chimney Rock the day before the storm, and then see it after the storm, there's nothing there. It looks like a it looks like a creek bottom that I would go in there and track track birds or or or, or deer or ducks or something. It looks like a creek bottom. I mean, there's nothing. The whole city. Of Chimney Rock is floating in Lake Lure. The whole city is gone. 
So, be thankful for what you got and be thankful for what you don't have because I'm telling you, you know, I've been through a lot, but somebody else has been through something too. So, I just want to take a moment to let everybody know, just hit 1,500 subscribers, and I'm very, very thankful. <clears throat> if those 1,500 people that's watching this can reach out to somebody in their community, somebody in their community that's doing something for the western part of North Carolina, and if everybody just give one thing, one thing, pack of baby bottles, pack of diapers, one thing. If 1,500 people can do that, that's 1,500 pieces of supplies that got sent to the western part of North Carolina. Now, if you're in Georgia and somebody needs something down there, do it in Georgia. If you're in Florida, do something in Florida. If you do, uh, The governor of Florida, the governor of Georgia, I believe, uh, and, and the governor of Tennessee, all of them, I think all of them have give out press, record, press things and said, that, you know, we've been hit hard, we've done this, but the western part of North Carolina is a war zone. And that's, I mean, basically, that's what it is. I mean, you go to bed and the whole town's there. You come, you wake up the next morning and there's nothing there. Dude, I don't care what you believe in. I don't care what you believe in. That right there is massive. Massive. So, uh... I know there's a lot of truck and trailers headed west from here taking supplies. I mean, there's some at uh, Iron Fitness Iron Fitness Center, uh, Brandon Russell at Iron Fitness Center and Equipment. He's got a big box truck they're loading it up. I know there's a trailer over at uh, Cornerstone Baptist Church. I know there's one over at uh, Mount Carmel. I know there's one over at Matt Gid, over at the produce place. I know there's one south of Candor. There are several places that are grabbing, that are putting stuff. There was one at uh, Walmart yesterday that was getting filled up. If I had a 20-foot or 30-foot trailer, you better bet your sweet tail I'd be trying to fill it up. Um, so, But what I'm going to be able to do is um, Wayne Saunders, and he's probably going to be mad I'm going to say this, Wayne Saunders Fencing Company, uh, Cody's, uh, Cody Sanders Mini X Fact. I think they loaded up yesterday, I believe, and hauling equipment to um, west of Asheville. Skid steers, Mini X's, bulldozers. To, I mean, because the Army Corps engineers, they can't do it all. So if, if you have equipment and 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 you can you can fathom to send something up there i know fema's coming in and i know this but let me tell you something it took 18 years for new orleans to even get back remotely where they were at when katrina hit and it also 40 percent of the population never came back just think about that 40 percent of the population never went back to new orleans i know wet dog glass they from new orleans they're here in star north carolina where they do their uh their glass stuff so I know that Wayne, I know Saunders Farms is loading up uh, food, like they're loading up hay, diesel fuel, stuff, because there's farmers up there that's got cattle and stuff like that, that they have nothing to eat. So um, I don't have anything, like, like I don't have a, I mean, I have a, I don't have an enclosed trailer, I got a small enclosed trailer, um, but Cody and Wayne, they have trailers, trucks, and stuff like that, and they're loading up stuff. And today's Wednesday. They're planning on, you know, um, I think Friday going to take a load up there. Saturday going to try to take a load. Sunday. We're going to go as far as we can go, and we're going to unload what we can unload, where we can unload it. Um, if the deuce and a half didn't get five miles at a gallon, I'd load that son of a gun up, and we'd take it all the way up there, and we'd get somewhere. We'd load that sucker up and we'd get somewhere. So I've been on here 10 minutes. Uh, it's probably going to take an act of Congress for this to get loaded. But um, do what you can. Do what you can. I mean, if it's a case of water, if it's a bottle, I mean, there's a list. There's a list. There's a list. Go find a repable list. 
be, be wary of scammers, okay? Like, there's a lot of things I see on Facebook, like donate, 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 monies, 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 monies. If you don't know that person, don't donate money to a scam. Don't donate it to a scam because there's a lot of scammers out there, I promise you, okay? There's a lot of scammers. So don't get, if, if, if you know a church or a firehouse or a police department, uh, if you know places like that that are taking monies, monetary monies for whatever, give it to those folks. Don't go and find these GoFundMe pages on Facebook and say, I'm going to donate $20 because some of them are good. Some of them are good, but some of them are bad. And um, that's all I'm going to say about that. And I appreciate you. And uh, like I say, I'm sitting here 